Doug? Uh, you know, Columbus comes in here with some stuff hanging over their head. Um, as a professional athlete, does that trickle down to the players, do you think, during during games or during a season? Um, I think each individual situation, each individual case is, is different. Um, I've been in a few situations where there's things going on off the field, whether it be front office or whatnot, and, and it definitely can get to players, especially if certain guys aren't, aren't strong enough to, to tune that out. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it very well might be, you know, hanging over their head. It, it might be in the back of their mind or whatnot. But uh, for us, uh, that's not our concern. Our concern is about making sure we win on Thursday. Now, Alec got an assist against Columbus up in, uh, in Columbus. Are you expecting some more balls on Thursday? Get a chance to add that little notch in your stat sheet? Uh, I mean, listen, it, I don't care who gets assists or, or goals or whatever. Like I said, as long as we win. Um, it's, uh, it's all about uh, it's all about getting the result. Have you got one before? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, look it up. Yeah, uh, I don't think so, but maybe. I don't know. I remember there was one U.S. goalie that scored a goal. Was that Hanneman or was that? No, Tim. Tim scored back when he was at Everton. I remember right. that when I was over there for that one. Uh, I think Friedel might, might have Friedel had one as well. well. Yeah. Um, but yeah. With, over, with, with the playoffs comes overtime and potential penalty kicks, how much extra time do you spend scouting the potential shooters? Or do you do, do anything like that? Or do you just go with the flow of the game and go past experience? That's well, a little bit of both. I mean, obviously, you you, you look at some video or whatnot. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's about being in the moment um, and, and trying to make a save. Uh, if it gets there, then, then obviously, um, including myself, with it, with, along with the guys that are taking the penalties, it, it's important that uh, hopefully I can make a few saves and, and, and we can convert ours. How much of that is research? How much of it is reading the player? How much of it is just luck at stopping a point? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of both, or, or all three of them, uh, actually. It's, like I said, um, you can watch as much film or video as you want. The guy can easily change his mind uh, at, at this level. Players are very good at, at disguising things. Um, but uh, you know, it, it then comes down to instinct, and yeah, I think we've, we've all seen a, our fair share of, of crazy penalties and crazy saves and whatnot, and uh, so we need a little bit of luck on their side. That one of the India game this yeah. that one? I, I didn't. No, which one was that? Was that one that I saw? Hit the bar, came down to the ground, and bounced back into the goal. No, I didn't see that one. I saw one the other day that went viral where I don't know what, it, what, what league or what level or whatnot, but the guy took and hit the crossbar, bounced by the penalty spot, he ran off Southern and Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that one viral. Fred, we asked you the other day, to, is this the time for veterans to kind of step up and kind of say something or let the young guys know? Has there been any talk with them the last 48 hours? Yeah, I mean, there's there's always conversations being had amongst guys. Uh, you know, senior players to, to some of the, the experienced players, uh, to younger guys, uh, guys who are maybe new to the league. and and understand what a playoff game is, is like and what it feels like because they're different from regular season games. And so, um, as I mentioned the other night, it, it becomes closer, tighter, harder. Uh, maybe the games aren't as open as, as maybe a regular season game. Um, knowing that after, uh, after the, the final whistle, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, that's it. I mean, it's, it's winning go home. Who do you hope uh, the MLS All-Stars will play? Next year in Atlanta, who would you like to see come in? Um, I don't know. I know there's there's obviously been talk amongst fans and whatnot of doing going back to the old East, East and West. Um, you know, the European teams when they come over, it's difficult for them because they're they're either just starting or or maybe a few weeks into a preseason. So, um, I know obviously some fans like the big names that come over that, that accompany these, these big teams that come. Um, but yeah, it's either, either way, it's, it, it ends up being an event or, or a few days worth of you know, fun activities, put on a show for the fans and, and, and that kind of enjoy it. Who would you like to play if you were in play? Uh, I don't know. I, was, uh, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind the East-West. I wouldn't mind playing a 
if if if, uh, if all of a sudden uh, they had a big team from from Europe come over, uh, but in saying that, I mean that's a long ways away, and, and you also have to be voted in. So. Uh, uh, Based upon really this, this team supporters, I'm pretty sure you're going to be voted in the goal. <laughs> no, the supporters have been fantastic. Um, little things, uh, you know, little things, whether it be off the field, on the field, um, they're very good here. Is there a team you haven't played that you'd like to play? Munich, Dortmund, PSG? Um, yeah, I don't think PSG. Uh, Madrid, Barcelona. There's, there's, there's a lot of teams that haven't played. Um, all excellent teams, all all with with very good players. Uh, like I said, it's, it, it ends up being a, give me a team. It, it ends up being <laughs> a, an event for the fans, I think. Anything else for Brad?